Welcome back here with FBC Sports. Nandranga have reigned supreme yet again. A week after winning the Digital Cup final, they've beaten their first challenger, Tailevu 43-26, to retain the Fairbrother Sullivan Trophy. The Stallions ran amok towards a second spell, scoring and converting five tries at Prince Charles Park in Nandi. Nandranga's next challenge is against Northland. Competition is heating up and tension is high as teams try to book a spot in the Vodafone Cup Finals. Akasita Tale caught up with the action at Buckhurst Park today. The gloomy weather this morning did not dampen team spirits as they battled for the top spot in next week's semi-finals. Hands were thrown, exchange of words and sideline remarks didn't stop these teams from challenging their opponents. Spectators even shared their views of the sport. There's the talent uh, have this team, development needed, especially in the, in the economical side of, of it. Some came for the love of the sport and hoped to don the Fiji Bati jersey one day. Because it's fun and it helps us know, helps us make us know a lot of people. Meanwhile, today's quarterfinals, Sabeto Roosters defeated Namatukula Tigers 16-12, Makoi Bulldogs outclassed Mbureni 2 Cowboys 36-14, Nandi Eels lost to Police Sharks 24-6, while Nandera Panthers defeated Nambuo Broncos 16-13. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. Fiji will be represented at the World Masters Powerlifting in America next month. Fiji Powerlifting hosted its first national trial at the Rambuka Gym in Suva today. Akasita Tale has more. It's good news as three of Fiji's best powerlifters have raised the bar in making the national masters in Texas. Fiji's powerlifting queen has promised to lift Fiji up at the world masters again and encourages women that age is no barrier. It's not too late. It's, you know, everything is, you can do it. You cannot stop until when someone say, okay, enough, you say you me for, you know, you know, which one, uh, the Gordon will say, stop, enough. So I'm still strong and that's why I'm here. The 59-year-old has also assured she hopes to bag more medals come next month's meet. Meanwhile, interest has been shown by young talents who showed up in numbers for today's trials. Uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, sub-juniors. Uh, those are the students from Maris, uh, John Wesley, Silver Grammar. The students far as Nandi came and Rampur Courage. They're all uh, playing here this afternoon. So, uh, you know, uh, we want to promote this to a secondary school level. Powerlifting is definitely growing and the association hopes that come next year, they will bring glory to Fiji. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. Only one Fiji Sun GP Batteries National Football League match was played today. Nandranga defeated Rewa three goals to two at Lawanga Park in Singatoka. Games continue tomorrow between Nandi and Tavua. Navua hosts Lotoka, Suva takes on Ba and Savu Savu meets Lambasa. Also tomorrow is the Vitilevu Premier Playoff match between Tailevu Neita Siri and Raki Raki at 1pm at Ratadakambau Park in Nosori. The Escort Shield quarterfinals at Albert Park today got off to a surprising start. Underdogs, the Covenant brothers upset Army to book their first ever semi-final berth in the competition. While it was a tough battle for other quarterfinalists, Helena McDonald got in on all the action. A win they'll never forget. The Covenant brothers, mostly recognized for their appearances in the shortened code, took a more experienced Army outfit to the wire of their Escort Shield quarterfinal. It was 18 all before seasoned fullback Ben Soso clamped down on a 60 meter penalty goal to take the Covenant brothers up to 21 points to win. Really a tough, tough game. The Army, as you know, is a very physical team, so we prepared for that. And uh, although these boys, most of these boys are young and they're coming up the ranks, there's some old guys that are playing with us, uh, like Osea Kolnisau, uh, Tone Kurundundua who have been with the mix for quite a long time and they've uh, given their hearts out today. Since their inception in 2005, this Escort Shield quarterfinals has been the Covenant Brothers' highest achievement. Well, this is the first time we made it to uh, the quarterfinals and we're happy that we made it again to the semis and we're looking forward to the team we're going to play next weekend. They will meet police in the first semifinal next week 
Lomaiviti, despite a wealth of experience on the bench, lost 17-20 to police in the second match of the day. Defending champs Navy beat the National Fire Authority 37-20. They were given a run for their money, with the NFA Ruggers proving a handful. Rwanda not only grabbed their semi-final place, they retained the Scafworks Trophy, beating Nambua 12-10 in the last quarter-final match at Albert Park. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports.